maintaining your position on the bike, gripping the handlebars, frequently changing gear, as well as squeezing on the brake levers, requires all the muscles in your arms, as well as those in your shoulders. And so it's no wonder they can become a little tender. Now it's really important that these muscles are kept supple. Riding a bike without enough flexibility can be extremely uncomfortable and you may have to constantly change between the drops and the tops to ease such discomfort. And it can be dangerous too, because if you're unable to maintain your natural bike position, you may struggle to apply enough pressure to the gears and brakes when you need to. So try these simple exercises for your chest, arms and shoulders, which will ease stiffness, soreness and aches. This quick but effective exercise will help warm up the muscles in the shoulder girdle and upper back region, two areas that get particularly tight and stiff through cycling. Sitting upright and lengthening your neck, start to roll your shoulders in a slow, exaggerated circular motion. Firstly, three times forward and then repeat in the opposite direction. Many hours spent in the saddle can lead to extremely tight pectoral muscles. That's these ones. Massaging them will help the chest wall feel more open and could prevent slouching too. Place the ball over the muscle, applying gentle pressure. Roll the ball around until you find a tender spot and spend 10 to 15 seconds massaging the area. The scapular muscles sit in between your shoulder blades. These muscles are very important for upper body and shoulder stability. Switching these muscles on will help you reduce shoulder tension. Lay on the floor with your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor and your arms by your sides with your palms facing the ceiling. Next, start to move your shoulders downwards and backwards, gently squeezing the muscles in between your shoulder blades. You want to try and continue to breathe normally while you're doing this and each time hold for 30 seconds before relaxing, having a break, and then repeating three times. This exercise is a great way to gently engage the muscles responsible for shoulder rotation. Loose shoulder muscles can lead to more comfort on the bike, improve stability, and also allow you to maintain a better and stronger position when you're out riding, meaning your reach to the brakes and levers is more effective. Standing in a doorway, arm down by your side, bend your elbow to 90 degrees, make a fist and place the outside of your elbow against the doorframe. Press the outside of the forearm against the doorframe as if you are attempting to move your forearm away from the body. Hold this position for 30 seconds, then relax and repeat three times. Standing in a doorway, arm down by your side, bend your elbow to 90 degrees, make a fist and place the inside of your forearm against the inside of the doorframe. Press your forearm into the doorframe. Your arm will not move, but the internal rotator muscles of your shoulder will contract. Hold for 10 seconds before repeating a further three times. This exercise will help mobilise and loosen the thoracic section of the spine, an area that often gets stiff and restricted through many hours spent in the saddle. Start on all fours with your hips directly underneath your knees and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Your knees and hands should be shoulder width apart. Bring your right hand against the side of your head and slowly lift your elbow outwards away from the midline. Keeping your head square to your shoulders, rotate your upper body round as far as you can hold for three seconds before returning to the midline. <laughs> 